Hello and welcome to Dr. Brady plays Desert Nightmare. The game with intro screen intro screen this horrifying thingy is more interesting than the actual game. Or horrifying than the actual game. Maybe. I don't know. But apparently we're in California. So that's probably a good sign. <coughs> narrative voice, narrative voice, yes. Mm, yes. Do we have to stop at every other gas station? I want to reach the next city before it's dark. Uncle Rupert will survive if we arrive one day late. I don't know why I came along at all. I'm missing the best part of the summer. Life isn't all about parties, my child. It's time for you to finally realize that. So that I become as narrow-minded as you? No thanks. Ha <laughs> ha, sees bratty. That's enough. Either you behave or you can continue on foot. You know what? You can go without me. I'm gonna go take a poo. Holy crap, was I right? Was I right? Oh my gosh! I pooed. This heat everywhere makes me uncomfortable. Why must we visit Uncle Rupert so early in the summer? I don't know. Because you're Gwen Tennyson. And if you don't visit him and help your cousin defeat Vilgax, the entire world will be destroyed. And they abandoned you. So now I have to fight Vilgax by yourself. Shit! My cell phone has no reception here. Now what do I do? You rock. You walk forward. Damn, I'm getting all my predictions right. I'm amazing. Holy crap, it's abandoned. We will make it our new cave. Man cave, because Sandra is totally a man. There's nothing here but scrap metal. No, I've played enough games with cross dresses. She's actually a woman this time. I feel like I'm going to throw up. Maybe if I wait here later, they'll come pick me up. Five hours later. Dusty Creek, two miles. That sounds dirty. Dad wanted me to stay overnight in the next city. A two mile desert run. Why the hell not? R really? Really? Your parents abandoned you and your first thought is to go out into the desert for two miles? And walk a lot? It's probably copyrighted, so just wait a second. She's walking in real time. It's really taking her the time it would take to walk two miles. Be glad I'm not making you watch all this. And we made it. We made it to Ohio. Up? Oh, no we didn't. Wait, Dusty Creek, that sounds like something in Ohio. Finally, this heat is driving me crazy. Yeah, and the desert monsters aren't doing anything for you. Wait a moment. Hold on, this is my backpack. Why is it here? Why is it here? Didn't you leave it? It's empty. Mom and Dad would never take my stuff out. They must have been robbed by bandits. By dusty bandits on the creek. Damn. And the bandits already left. With our car! It is strange. Bandits don't normally steal vehicles. Perhaps they've rented a room. The bandits? Alright, why not? Let's go and kick their asses and get our parents back. Who are you? Hi, I'm looking for my parents. Did you see a married couple called Richmond? No, I haven't. Hmm. And have you seen a green car drive by recently? I don't think so. Well, great. Wait a minute. Maybe your parents went to the Penton at the other end of the city. There's one there. Then maybe that's where they are. How do I get to the Penton? Simply follow the road. I'm sure they'll stay there overnight. I don't want to hear their stupid drivel about responsibility. It does get annoying after a while. It's best if I take a room here. Do you have an available room? Room 4 is still available. 10 to No. That's too expensive. What? Are you a rich girl? You drive a green car and your name's Richmont. You have rich in your name. You must be rich. And with the green car, you must be Iris. Hey, I'm in control now. Hooray. What's in this? Somehow it gives me a strange feeling. A feeling of saving. I always like to double check. Can I borrow this map? I think it's awesome. Free map. What's in here? Up, oh, dead bodies probably. What's in here? Locked doors. What's in here? Oh, is this my room? Can I take a nap? Can I take another poo? 
No, you don't need to poo. Okay. Can I take a nap? No. Can I change my pants? Holy shit! I can't change my pants, but I can spiders. So what do I do then? Do I explore the town? I want to go see if I can do that. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna just leave. This street le Aw, oh, I can't leave. Huh. So you'll walk two miles in a desert, but you won't set one foot out of town. Hi! Say something. Unfriendly asshole. No, is that what he said? Or is that what you thought he said? Or is that what you thought he was thinking? And he keeps staring at you. He keeps staring at your unfriendly asshole. Yeah, nothing I need. Stationary. Batteries and such. Batteries. Detergent. Canned soup. A pair of gloves. I want the canned soup. I'd rather not. Why? More bodies? Excuse me, I'm looking for my parents. They're driving a green car. Did you see them? No. Very talkative. Yes, he is. Why does he have a windmill in front of him? I don't get that. Why do you need a windmill? Does that power your store? I don't know. What's over here? Okay. There's lots of bodies. There's lots of doors we don't want to open. Wanna Holy shit. Damn it. If the gate opens, it might attack me. The gate or the dog? Probably the dog. It's best if I ask someone about that dog. Yo, Jim. And yes, his name is Jim. Read the sign. Jim's All-Purpose Store. Which is very overpriced. Jim, move your windmill out of the freaking way and take care of your dog. Oh, it's not your dog? Then it must belong to... To... To your truck. There's no end. What? That's stupid. What's over here? You, take care of your dog. Yes, there is a dog. It always barks at outsiders. Why? Why would it only bark at outsiders, not insiders? Is it in holy crap, I can go over here. And there's a bar. With like Arabian letters or something. It makes sense, because we're in a desert. Hey, it's a pool shark. Let's go play pool. And then let's go swimming, because he's also a shark. Hi. Yo. <gasps> and he has a character portrait, so you know he's important. You from this city? No, I don't live here. I'm with my parents on some stupid trip. I'm Sandra, by the way. Jake. I'm only in this city because the truck driver didn't want to bring me any further. I was kicked out of my home by my parents. Oh, that sucks. Where were you trying to get to? I'm not sure. Perhaps somewhere along the west coast? Either way, I don't want to get stuck in this town. It's pretty dead around here. Hardly any people. Now, what will you say if I would invite you for a drink here this evening? I'll only put half a roofie in it. Really? You want to invite me? That sounds pretty cool. Of course I'll accept. First, I want to look around here somewhere for my stupid parents. Jake, can you help me get rid of that stupid dog? It's at the gate and won't let me through. Yeah, no problem. I know just what to do. Abooga, booga, booga! Stupid dog. You make me look bad. Get lost. <laughs> a dog? Wow, you're a badass. Now you can go through the gate. Thanks. See you later. Don't leave me. You're good with dogs. And I'm, you're like, the only thing that I don't think is stupid. Everything else is stupid. Someone has removed the tires. But it has an engine, right? So then we can combine both the cars. And it'll work. And these must be, not these, these things must be the tires. Yes. And you, is there something in you? No. Locked. Open. Damn it. Can I go over here? Holy crap, it's the dog again. The dog is here. Yes, I just said that. And it's barking. If I run away now, it'll follow me. Run back to Jake Sandra. Run back to the arms of your beloved. But it doesn't seem so aggressive anymore. Maybe I should make friends with it. Then it might leave me alone. I don't know. Well, come here. Come to me. Oh, that dog. That's just like a blade and middle finger, woman. What? What was that? Oh, the dog walked away. You didn't see it? Why? Was there something I didn't see? I don't... Holy crap, there was something I didn't see, and it was a dead dog who died. Ah! There... There's a lot of blood! Maybe the dog's diabetic. 
Something has happened to that dog. Maybe it's that time of the month. With so much blood loss, and probably dead. Unless... Perhaps I can check over the wall. Yes, hop on this box. Ye yes, it is a box. Hop onto it. Hop on. Go through the hole. A trail of blood. Yes, it does. Push this box. Oh, I'm right. I'm a genius. Push this box over the hole. Now hop onto it. Hop onto... Hop... Hop onto the barrel. Uh, I don't know what to do. Figured it out. The trail of blood leads to the cellar window. Wh what was... That was a dog. It must have been something big to hurt that... Maybe... Wait, it was something else? Maybe I... Yes, go save the dog. Be a hero. No, I didn't go... Okay, don't be a hero. What happened to that stupid mutt sitting ma Yes, it stood. He could have been a famous TV dog. Like Scooby-Doo. Or Courage. Or... Crypto. Or... Um, Dookie. That's a dog. It is also another word for poop, but it is a dog. Someone's there! Is it another dog? Hello, dog. Yo, dog. What's up? Hi. Ah! Alan. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Me too, gang. I just wasn't expecting it. Yeah, I'm Sandra. I'm Alan Winters. A while ago, there was a dog. I think something attacked it. I didn't see what it was, but there was a lot of blood. It went into the cellar of a house. That's how you start off a conversation? Not hey. How are you? Not, what's your favorite food? No, I just saw a dog get killed. Want to go check it out? We can be like Scooby and the gang. Except the dog's already gone. Hmm, it must have been a coyote. Those things are always around here. A coyote? But there's not much longer than a dog. I agree, but I don't know what else might do that to a dog. A ghost. And some dots. Anyways, the dog is just... <laughs> She's so blunt. Mm -mm. Are you from the city? No, I was actually on my way to a physics fair, but my car broke down. Oh, I thought you might be someone like that. Why, because he has glasses, so he's automatically a nerd? That's really what you think of me? Yes. Now, well, you're a slut. I've already met someone who's also not from this city. Want to come meet us tonight at the bar? Threesome! Okay, if the car isn't fixed before then, I don't want to remain any longer in this city than I have to. Yeah, me too. See you later, then. Be gone, nerd. Hopefully he doesn't think I'm vile or mean. Sometimes I should just keep my mouth shut and not talk about dead animals. That's just a weird thing to talk about. Like, seriously. How else? Why would you start a conversation like that? Ooh, motorcycle. Let's ride it. Yes, it is a motorcycle. Are you telling me you don't know how to ride a motorcycle? It's just like a bike, except a lot faster and more dangerous. A police station. Yes, it is a police station. Your powers of deduction are incredible. Open this. Damn it. Can I go? I am going in all the... What was that? What was this? Oh, no. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Shit. Don't go... You stupid bitch. I just said don't go in there. No. Why would you do that? You're dumb. What's this strange symbol? It's a it's the target logo. Oh no, it's a guy. Or a girl. Or a monster. Or a ghost. Or a demon. Or an angel. Or a Batman. All he said it's not Batman. Hey! What was that? I told you. I get it was an alien, that's the only thing I didn't lift off. The door won't open. Hello? Is someone there? Probably not. I mean, someone was to close it. Maybe it was just the wind. Is the wind the name of the serial killer? Oh, I can save it? Yes, I saved it. I saved it, and that gives me an excuse to be a jerk and end the episode right now.